Hello and welcome back to the No Dig Norfolk Gardener channel. A channel which is devoted to No Dig Gardening. We went over to all of our veg plots to No Dig earlier this year. Those of, those of you that really found us and you'll have followed our progress through the year. You join us in bed five, which is right at the very top of the garden. And in here we grew potatoes last year along with our solaria. As you can see with the changing of the seasons that's changed we now have some spinach at the very top. In the last video you saw me plant our garlic. What I did uh, just want to say is always ensure that you see the last slide that we put on the video because if conditions change and I think I need to do something a bit different to what you've seen on camera then I always post it there and I also list the varieties of anything that we're planting when we've planted it and when I expect to be able to harvest that crop. Today we are looking at planting our shallots we're going to be planting two varieties. These were the shallots that we grew last year. Or this year actually, because it's still this year. And what I've done, I've just kept some bulbs back so that I can replant. This is a variety called Jumeau and I've been growing this for some years now. Um, it seems to be growing bigger and bigger every year. Um, this other variety is a variety called Brazil. And if you've watched our video when we harvested these earlier in the year, uh, you'll know that we hadn't tried this variety before. It was new to us. We really quite enjoyed that. So we're going to replant. See the difference in the size. And I do think that when you can save your own sets, um, they become accustomed and acclimatized, if you like, to growing in your conditions. Because this bulb, probably five or six years ago, we used to get them that size. It's a theory. I'm not saying it's that I'm exactly right, but we do seem to get larger and larger bulbs the more that we grow them by saving our own sets. The great thing is, is that you know, once you purchase your sets for the first time, if you're growing for the first time, um, you, know, you just keep some of those back. Shallots produce anywhere between six and eight bulbs from a single bulb. So if you just keep enough back to plant uh, the following season, um, they're not going to owe you an awful lot of money. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. Um, and then you'll be able to see any of the content. You'll know when we've uploaded anything onto YouTube. So we'll start by planting the jamor, these lovely big beasties. And all you want to be doing is dropping it into the hole. And they want to be about three quarters of the way into the ground. The other thing that I'll quickly say is that to people that already garden, it will be quite obvious to you, but for those of you that are new to the garden, this is the base plate. Yeah, and obviously at the top, this is where the leaf is going to come out. So they want to be planted down into the hole like so. You want to dip your holes so that the right size for what you want to do because what you don't want to do is to leave an air pocket underneath and then the roots can't get down to grow and also you don't want to be pressing too hard when you're putting them into the ground you make the holes too tight then you'll damage the base plate, which is where the roots are going to start to grow.
So there we are, that's the Jumeau. I'll complete the same task with the Griselle. That one, if you can see on the camera, I can feel it's soft. So that I can't plant. We've planted the bulbs now. And now that they're all in their holes, all we need to do is to and firmed in like so, push the soil up around them. Like so. Now birds are very fond of pulling sets up. I guess from above they look like something they're going to want to eat. Um, so I shall cover these. Now I always like to plant my shallots at this time of year. A lot of people swear by planting them on the shortest day and then harvest, harvesting them on the longest. But I find by planting at this time of the year and nursing them through the winter we get a slightly earlier crop, so I can harvest sometime in June, and not end of June, July time. Part of that is because within my crop rotation, our sprouts and kale follow the shallots and the garlic. You have a fairly long window to be able to plant shallots. Um, they can be done now and you can plant them right up to next spring. You just won't get them so early. They'll take longer to mature. As I said before, they're really great shallots are, not only taste wise, but you know, for that single bulb, it will produce you know, anywhere between six to eight bulbs, some, in some cases 10. All we'll do is now is just give these a bit of a watering in. They won't get too much because we are due some rain uh, tomorrow, I think. Um, fairly wet, so they'll get a good dosing anyway tomorrow. And we'll just fold this mesh over these so that the birds don't pick them out of the ground. What we'll do is just label them before we do that. Jumeau and this was Griselle. And that's that job completed. So I hope you liked this short video on how to plant shallots um, and whenever you plant yours I hope you get a fantastic harvest like I hope too. This is the onion bed for this season, so the rest of this bed will be taken up by our main crop onions, which we shall start off next year and go in the ground sometime around March. If you have enjoyed this video, then give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do. And we shall see you on the next video.